Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to The Van Build. Let me take it from the top really quick for any new viewers. I moved back home from Spain to Louisiana. The pandemic started a couple of months later. I bought a Ford E250 van and I finally stopped letting my perfectionism get in the way and started building out this van with the goal of traveling around the US. I made such great progress so far and honestly, I'm super impressed with myself and how far my skills have come. It's been super exciting putting together the main pieces needed to make this a livable space. So follow along the journey with me as I get this van built. Okay guys, I am currently on my way to town for a doctor's appointment and I have a mental to-do list of what I need to accomplish in my van for this next piece. I've been so busy at work, I haven't had actually any time to make my to-do list so it's all in my head. I'm hoping to stop at Home Depot after my appointment to get some things that I need. Do I know exactly what I need? No, that's also in my head so hopefully when I get there, I can figure some things out, figure out the next steps. Me and Trent did brainstorm a little bit about what to do when it comes to plumbing, but it all relies on one piece, if it even exists. Okay, it was an unsuccessful Home Depot trip. A, they didn't have any of the plumbing things I needed, but I did get some polyurethane sealants for my countertops, and of course, I couldn't leave Home Depot without a plan. Okay, so I officially drafted my to-do list for the next steps of my van build. So I'm going to first sand the counter of my kitchen and make sure it's a smooth surface before I go ahead and use my polyurethane that I got from Home Depot yesterday to give it a nice coat. I'll probably have to do like four coats just to make sure it's super sealed and has a really smooth texture. I'm also gonna seal the interior of my kitchen cabinets just so that doesn't absorb any moisture either. Next is to create a fridge spacer. So I want my fridge to be super snug in between the cabinet spaces it's in. So I'm gonna put like a two, one by two or something just so it doesn't rattle back and forth but still has enough airflow to vent itself from the back. And a lot of you guys brought this up in my last video. Yes, I'm going to do something for the vent on the back or the side to make sure it has enough airflow. So that is also on the to-do list. And then running my electrical for the fridge, drilling a hole so it loops all the way through my kitchen cabinets around my bed to where my battery bank system is. And then I put a question mark by the next two. So drill a hole in the floor and figure out gray water plumbing. So me and Trent brainstormed. I went to Home Depot yesterday. They didn't have that part I needed. So honestly, we're not sure what we're doing with that yet, but getting that one part is the first step. I'm not gonna explain it because it's so intricate and <laughs> challenging, mainly because of where I put the gray water tank. I wasn't working with a lot of space and I still don't have a lot of space to just hook up some normal PVC pipe to the gray water. So we're really tinkering around and working with it to make sure I have something that works and something that fits in that spot and that's the challenge. So if anyone else is doing this, it's not gonna be as hard as it's gonna look for me. And then lastly is just securing the sink to the counter after I do all the sealing. That's what I got for this video, so let's get started. Okay, before I give the countertop a good coating of the polyurethane to make it a smooth surface, I have my sanding block I'm going to go ahead and give it a really light sand, make sure the surface is smooth, then put the coat, and then when that's dry, sand it again, put another coat, sand it again, put another coat, and keep doing that until it's as coated as I think it should be. And I'm also going to go ahead and coat the interior of the cabinets right now as well.
has been sitting in the front room and it has so much dog hair. Must be coming off of it because there's little fuzzes all over where I'm painting. Okay, so the countertop has its first coat of polyurethane. The finish that I got is a high gloss. I think there's like three ranges. There's like matte, I don't know, oh, satin, I think that's what it's called. And there's the semi-gloss and then there's the high gloss. I got the high gloss because I wanted it to look like a countertop and not just like a block of wood. So I wanted to have a little shine, you know. So I'll have to put a few more coats on that. So today's Thursday after work. Who wants to bet that I'm gonna wake up on Friday before I have to start my meeting at 8 a.m. to sand this and do an extra coat. I think I have it in me. We'll see. We'll see if I can. That's really high goals right there, waking up before 8 o'clock. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and do a coat in the interior. the interior once it would have been a lot easier to do before I put it together but Trent's always rushing me so I'm almost finished I hate this I think next video I'm gonna just build something simple something I want done something that I can do myself without having to stuff like this which is why half of my van is still missing the details would you look at that okay so I just finished coating the interior of my cabinet I'm going to pick up the polyurethane clean off my roller and the painters tray I think it's something I can cross off my list too so I'll see about that and fingers crossed I may continue at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning I don't think the odds are very good but we'll see Okay, so I promise you I woke up early enough. I woke up at 7.30. Well, not early as I wanted, but I'm going on a date tonight, so I wanted to take an early shower, wash my hair, and have that dry for the day. So I did not go in my van and do a coat of polyurethane on the counter, but I will do it at some point today before I leave. It is officially 8.07, so I have to join my 8 o'clock meeting. I did tell them I was going to be late, though, so no worries, but just wanted to give you guys an update on that. Okay, we're taking a quick break from work. I have my sanding block. I'm gonna give it a really quick sand just to get any rough edges off, wipe it down, another coat, let it dry, call it a day. I have my roller from yesterday back in its plastic bag tied with a scrunchie and it worked pretty well I'm thinking instead of dumping this in here and wasting some just like dunking it I think that could work I'm gonna dunk it Oof. really well and now I don't have to clean up anything and just like that I'm done and that was 
less than four minutes so I'm gonna close this put this back in its bag and I'm done for the day wow Okay, I just did a fourth and final coat. I think I did a third coat earlier. And just from the second coat, it looked so much more shiny than the first coat did. So I think it's turning out great. Dogs are barking in the background and I am almost ready to leave for my date. Quick task after work. I was gonna do this over the weekend, but Trent was at home and the drill bit was so in there i couldn't undo it by myself so i did not get anything done but i'm going to just go ahead and drill a hole through this one this one and the back one for when i'm ready to wire my fridge the wires are going to pass through there so let's make sure it's as tall as i need it to be at least why isn't this going through am i weak yes with this I don't know if it's the right part I have no idea if this is going to work this is the piece I'm assuming this is one and three-fourths of an inch but I'm on my third glass of wine so this is not getting done today on my van fingers crossed this works I don't know how these tubes are gonna work for a gray water tank but psh, at least it's something Look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my to-do list for this video has gone to shit. It's horribly raining right now, it's the weekend, and it's definitely, most of the stuff is not getting done today. Trent did go and buy me the piece that I showed you earlier, and I think it's gonna work. So we have the piece done, but there's definitely not gonna be any drilling in the floor today. I'm hoping once the rain lets up, I can make a break for my van and get in it and do some other small tasks, but it's not happening. It's definitely not happening. See so you guys, it's been storming and the window was cracked like this so it's a little wet but like it was not crazy but like this whole floor is wet where i'm standing and the ceiling is leaking right here so this is not good i don't even want to get into this right now like that wasn't the goal of this video it's never the goal to have to undo something but it seems like it's pretty wet up there and I don't even know how to go about taking this down it's so wet maybe if I pop a light on I can see what's going on I 
don't want to deal with this. I guess this would be where the end of my solar panel is, somewhere right here. Let me try to take this light out as well. Yeah, it's super wet right here. It's along this line of where the lights are. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this. Oh my gosh. Like, where do I even begin? I'm just going to have to knock it. Yank it, rip it, break it. I don't want to do this. Maybe I can't even fit that in here. Like, I wish I could just see what's going on. I don't know how to do that. I'm going to have to break it. And I don't want to do that. How do I break it in the least broken way possible? This is like a split where the knot is. Maybe I can hammer this through. to spend my day all this hard work and I'm destroying it like I'm so nervous other pieces are gonna start leaking too I'm just gonna go straight into the middle and not destroy the outside and we'll see when we get there It's right on the seam. I know, oh my gosh. It's like dripping. Oh my god, it's literally dripping water. I don't know where it's coming from. This piece literally goes halfway to the back. I don't want to destroy that. But there, you have to. But I don't. But I do. But do I? Okay, just yank it out. Where is it coming from? Why is it stuck together so much? Okay, let's see if I got this. Nope, don't like that. The most wet is right here. So if it was like this, the wetness is coming from here. I don't see anything that's wet. Guess I can take this down too. Ask me what I don't want to deal with right now. This. I don't even know what to do. Under the beam is wet. It's not even on the top. I don't know. I had more intentions for this video, but like I'm not even, I don't even want to get to them. This is obviously a bigger issue and really needs to be solved before I can do anything else. So. No, the water is up here. Oh, I, I better not be that. Okay, let's. Oh, no, no, no. I can't. I can't, can't, can't deal with this right now. So, we're just going to end it right here. I can't even. I am done for this video. There's water leaking. My ceiling's halfway gone. My memory card on my camera just got full. So, 
I'm wrapping it. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hopefully the next van build video will be better than this one. I did film a week in my life, so stay tuned for that one. But this van is, this is the worst video yet. So stay positive, guys. Don't worry. I'll figure it out. Maybe.